slides that you saw tonight, the freshwater aspect is important on Biona. That Biona has several underlying freshwater aquifers. All of our agencies are saying that it's not my job to do anything, um, but it is their job. And in those letters, I provide the law, the from federal to local to regional. It's a violation of the law to harm those aquifers. The Water Board allows what's called construction dewatering permits. And they're all short term. And certainly in the EIR, Marcia, you know the first phase, all of that, no long term dewatering is allowed because you can't have subsidence, letting the water, the, the ground lower because you're pulling out that water. But you know what? The Water Board's construction dewatering permits, like all over LA, they are starting to become long-term dewatering. They're short-term construction dewatering permits. The system was never even designed to carry groundwater. It was designed to carry Department of Sanitation water, your toilet, your sink, all of that not groundwater. These are huge volumes of water that they are taking out and throwing into the sanitary sewers, which we have an antiquated system as it is. So not only is it we're losing our groundwaters, but you're taxing the system as well. So what are we doing at Playa Vista? In the phone conversation, they said 650,000 uh, gallons per day. Actually, 1,200 of that is from the school that is sending it into the sanitary sewer. But I put that 650,000 figure because that's what I just got from the water board. Prior to that, just a couple of years ago, I have 920,000 gallons. None of that includes what's being dewatered for the gas mitigation systems. Because they didn't actually have very good meters on those. And the city didn't even know, actually, when I went to the Department of Sanitation, that all of these so-called permits for dewatering were actually not even permits, they were applications. So the Department of Sanitation started asking Playa Vista all the questions I was asking of the Department of Sanitation to ask Playa Vista. And, but the city's concerned about money and revenues and what comes in for how much, not what goes where. So it is our job to lean on these people to say we want our water. Water is precious. There is no reason we should have this saltwater intrusion from pumping unless somebody else is sucking it in. Who's sucking it in? Playa Vista? Really? Well, we didn't buy these wetlands so that you could harm them. But you know what? Playa Vista, early on when they had the EIR, they called it a saltwater wetland. Why? Because we had Porter Cologne and things like that that said that you can't harm our freshwaters even then. But they wanted to build a marina in Area A, right over here. So if you call something a saltwater wetland, which is what Friends of Iona and all of them did in this settlement agreement that Jeanette was talking about in 1990, how easy is it with a narrative like that without any studies showing it? But we did have the Poland report that did talk about, he's the grandfather of all hydrology. We knew it was fresh water. So they lied. They lied back then. They lied in the EIR so that they could move ahead with plans of saltwater intrusion. And this is all the simplicity of what we're just, we have to stop. We want our water back, and we can have it back. We have to keep asking for it. And I need help just in the ask. So why did that saltwater intrusion happen on this, the fresh waters and the springs and everything in the watershed that's coming out on Biona? Who was pumping out that water? Because there was overdraft. Well, Playa Vista for one. And right now, who is pumping the water? Who is causing that saltwater intrusion through there? I mean, think about it. Playa Vista. Once we found all the gas problems that they had there, they have to lower the groundwater table in order to keep those gas mitigation systems free of water. This is all stuff that the water board is, is on the phone with me going, well, I think that's just a passive system. And I've been told that it's just, this is Playa Vista talking to me. It's a, it's a passive system that only when we have exceptional rains do those waters fill up and they have to pump them out, which is absolutely false. I mean, we have the Department of Sanitation records showing that they've got to constantly pump this water out. I have videotape 
in the underground, second story underground of water coming from the floor up to here on the wall before they finally got pumps big enough out there to keep it pumped out. There are elevator shafts filled with water at the base. <coughs> elevator shafts aren't supposed to have water in them. So, and, and all of that gas that, well, you know my background in gas, but all of that correlates. Playa Vista is lowering all of this water underneath their buildings in order to keep those gas intake systems free of water that would clog the gas intake systems. Well, gas intake systems don't really work out there, but that's another story. You have to keep trying. The water board doesn't know anything about those gas intake systems because that's not their job. But it's my job, it's our job to stay on top of them and say, look, this is an ecological system out here. It is your role to protect these systems. So it is your role to work as a task force, an interagency task force. Department of Sanitation, you need to be working with the Water Board. Water Board, you need to be knowing what the Department of Sanitation is doing. And what did they say to me? Well, we'll go back and talk to Playa Capital and Playa Vista. And I said, whoa, that's really nice, but you know what? Well, who you need to be talking to is the Department of Sanitation. But it is our role to stay on top of these people. It has been my role to write this stuff up, which one of those letters you have, there are multiple other ones, which we have spider maps that show all of these wells at, at Playa Vista. They are all supposed to have what's called well completion reports. Because with everything going on and the droughts and everything else, we have to know the water table. And how do they know that in the state? They know it because they're looking at well completion reports so they can see how much water is being pumped where. Do we know that here? No. Is any of this stuff even in the DEIR? Absolutely not. So in these letters that you see, while I try and stay very polite, I am very blunt about the agencies not having any of this in the DEIR. And I'm very blunt with the water board. Now, this is the time to stay on the water board. We want our water back for Biona. Saltwater intrusion shouldn't be happening. It should be diminishing. What matters is getting the agencies to move and do the jobs that they have. The letter that she just sent you that was attached to this uh, presentation is the second. Actually, it's the third in a series of, of letters that I've given to the Water Board and to the California Coastal Commission and to uh, all the elected, including those, um, that we want them to fulfill their roles. This is essentially simply an update to let you know what Grassroots Coalition is doing with regard to going out to these agencies and putting out all this information so they cannot run away from it. They cannot shy from it. They cannot say they didn't know. Um, even in our responses to the EIR, there's something called willful blindness. And you're hearing that with regard to Trump on the news lately. It's an important term, willful blindness. And I've only recently become aware of it, used it in the DEIR response. If you know things that are going on, if, and, and it's been brought to your attention, you cannot say, I didn't know. The water board's role is to protect those waters. I had a meeting uh, last Friday with the Water Board and there were multiple uh, departments heads there. There was an attorney there who ultimately said, well, it's not our job to really concern ourselves with Biona. Biona overlies freshwater aquifers. That's all there is to it. Because the clarity of what they were saying was so off point. Um, and the ecology, and I says, actually, yes, it is. And I ended up interrupting this hour-long conversation over and over and over again. There was drinking water from that water well. It was shut down. When we had the MTBE contamination in Santa Monica, um, which actually Santa Monica had some, but it also came down as far as Palms Boulevard, if you know where that is. Um, that's pretty far south. The water board will try and tell you, well, it's, we've got salt water intrusion. Well, we do have salt water intrusions, but what do they do in other towns and cities along the coast? You've all heard probably the term curtain, where they actually inject water to keep that salt water at bay so that you can use those waters. We used to have, which I was hoping you had brought something on, 
um, in Playa del Rey, a water well. And the culvert wells were shut down to not draw that MTBE, which was the chemical cleanser and gasoline additive that they got rid of because a tablespoon in an Olympic-sized swimming pool uh, is toxic. So they could not clean it in the aquifers below. So now they are pumping it up and cleansing it on the surface. But because of the fear of drawing it further down towards Viona, they actually stopped pumping the culvert wells.